What is up Arrow fans, it's Tim here and today I have some pretty interesting news. So, John Barrowman, who is the actor who played the Dark Archer or Malcolm Merlin on Arrow will be a season regular for season 3 of Arrow which will be debuting the same time The Flash will be getting its first episode or season 1 um, this fall 2014 and of course it will move on to 2015. But um, anyway, now that we're going to be getting, you know, Malcolm Merlin, we know that um, Thea Queen actually joined up with him, and I don't know where they'll be going, but obviously we're going to be getting a strong connection with them, whether it's in Starling City or we get a separate storyline, sort of like how the flashback works with them on wherever they go. But either way, Malcolm Merlin and Thea Queen, we're probably going to be seeing a tight relationship with them going on. You know, Thea probably getting more respect for him and probably... Maybe Thea probably maybe even becoming a bad person because she knows she had a hell of a lot of trouble going through her life. And I really don't know if she does know that her brother is Arrow or not. I mean, it should be pretty obvious by now, but she doesn't know. But I'm guessing that the Dark Archer may tell him if the Dark Archer knows as well. But either way, things are coming together. Things are colliding. And it's pretty damn awesome to find out that the Dark Archer is going to be a season regular. Maybe he'll become a good guy. But either way, they're bringing him back. I hope they don't bring him back in a similar way. Like, we know that he's back and he probably obviously went into the Lazarus Pit. They better, like, talk about that. I hope Thea just doesn't blow off the fact that her dead father just raised from the dead, like, out of nowhere. I mean, she's got to be a little bit suspicious. I mean, I know things are becoming a little bit weird now. We're getting the Flash and the superhumans and everything. But still, she's got to be wondering, huh, my dead father came back alive, you know? Like, what the hell is going on? So hopefully she's like, you know, what happened? And he tells the story about the Lazarus Pit. Maybe Raz Al Ghul was mentioned in there. Maybe she's going to bring her back to the League of Assassins. Maybe we're going to be getting a storyline with Thea Queen, Sarah Lance, Raz Al Ghul, and Nazi Al Ghul, which is Raz Al Ghul's daughter, if you didn't know that. And we're just going to be getting a whole League of Assassins with uh, Thea Queen, Sarah Lance, Malcolm Merlin, and we'll be getting a whole League of Assassins storyline. So when the League of Assassins finally do come back, and we finally do get to see Raz Al Ghul, We'll be getting a whole new storyline with that, which I would really like because we still haven't got to see Raz Al Ghul. I really want to dive into these League of Assassins. Like, this is, they kind of been just hinting about it. Like, we know we heard Raz Al Ghul's name, but that's it. So, big things can happen now that we're getting Malcolm Merlin as a season regular. My hope is he does eventually come back as a Dark Archer. But I don't want to see another season finale boss fight is what I'm trying to say. Like, the season finales have sort of been the same. Like, I really like when things are a little bit more twisted. Like, if you think about for The Walking Dead, for example, things don't end the same every season. Like, things are, oh, it, like, it ended with them, what, that's for instance, The Walking Dead, all the survivors in, like, a crate in, like, some random freaking warehouse, you know? But, like, I don't want Arrow every season finale being him versus one villain first boss fight, and that's it. Like, we got the Malcolm Merlin boss fight, and then we got the Deathstroke boss fight. Now, that's kind of, you know, okay, it's the first two seasons, that makes sense, it's the beginning of a TV show, and they did say season three is going to be sort of like a relaunch, now we're getting the Flash, I just hope they mix things up, I hope maybe season three ends with something that's not just a boss fight so what i'm trying to say is i hope they don't bring malcolm merlin back just to have a repeat of season one you know but um, i think they're going to be doing the right things honestly this show has been a lot better since season one and now that we're getting the flash i really think things with cnw are really showing the bright side i know people are really excited for the flash we finally got the first extended five minute trailer which is pretty damn awesome and by the way it looked really good too i mean you can find that trailer on my channel if you just click the channel box in the description box down below but um overall i'm gonna end my thoughts here the verdict is i'm pretty excited to see malcolm merlin as a season regular only if they bring him in the right way now this isn't that surprising knowing that thea joined up with him but a season regular means he'll be in there i don't know maybe every episode or every other episode like war harper would be a season regular so if we're gonna see mac merlin just as much as we saw war harper in season two well then we should expect something big going on and hopefully in the balls of league of assassins or maybe something we haven't gotten yet but guys thank you for watching and don't forget to share your thoughts on Malcolm merlin being a season regular on arrow season three guys thank you for watching or to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace out don't forget to like and comment and subscribe <laughs> or you're not gonna like what I do to you next. <laughs> ah!